Now, if I've learnt one thing, it's that teenagers get a little bit taken with stuff, obsessed with all sorts of random things, and the more random, the better. Space Invaders, the Las Vegas Raiders, or fishermen in thigh-high waders are often to be found whiling away the days, the weeks, or even the years on the weirdest of weird shit. Yes, I'm talking <laughs> teenage obsessions. As always, I'm interested in peak embarrassment, and the most embarrassing obsessions will go in the box. So, Rachel, I'm going to start with you. What would you say is the most embarrassing obsession you had well, as a teenager? At the time, I thought I was mega, mega cool because I got my licence and my parents bought me a car, which I thought was the best wow. car in the mm. world. Um, until a number of years later, the in-betweeners came out <laughs> and it, it was the exact same car that they'd used as the example of something completely shit. <laughs> so I had a bright yellow Cinquecento Sporting, Cinque which Cinque is Cento, the one... Cinquecento, that's a Fiat? It had red seat belts. That was the cool part. This is the car, right? This is the clip from the uh, the in between us. Is this the car we're talking about? The Fiat Cinquecento, the 500. Oh yeah. Yeah, we... so it's exactly the same car. Well, I think mine was cooler because of the red seat belts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not waiting any longer. <laughs> oh no. So what was the obsession? I just love driving. So, I was from South End. Driving. So, <laughs> driving, driving. On the seafront, there was. Um, they, they've changed it now. They've got rid of the roundabouts, so you can't do it. But you used to just go cruising, so it was the thing to do on the weekend. Or, like, so your obsession is or... cruising South End in a Fiat Cinquecento. This is going to be hard to beat, guys. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, does cruising? Does cruising mean something else? As well? <laughs> yeah, can you describe <laughs> cruising for us? For those for those of us who aren't quite sure. You're like just, Ian. like, in your cool car and you're yeah. just, you know, you're just cruising along the seafront. <laughs> cruising with? Who's your posse? I remember taking my little brother somewhere once and this was the most South End thing because driving him, you know, 15 minutes down the road and um, we passed two people having sex out of a sunroof. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 you can't just gloss past the sentence. I mean, that. that's having just, Having like, sex out of a out sunroof? Out of a sunroof. I mean, <laughs> why? <laughs> and then you finally get to South End Seafront, like, the place where you want to drive, and believe it or not, there were actually some people, like four blokes, on the other side of the road, cruising, doing exactly the same thing, in exactly the same car. Oh, what a moment. And they started oh. beeping and waving, what like, yes, like, Cinquecento <laughs> cruise. <laughs> you're, you're like, guys, this story... Oh, there were people having sex out of the sun. But anyway, <laughs> I saw the same car. <laughs> <laughs> the what are the chances? More than the other thing. <laughs> I still South don't quite Bay. understand the sex out of the... Do you mean they're both standing they up? They were both standing up. Out of a sunroof. Like, popping their head up like a meerkat. <laughs> well, I think it was more than the head. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of car, teenage car is a big thing, right? The teenage car. So that was your first car? Yeah. As teenagers, did you have a quick checklist of teenage antics in a car? First, early cars. Did you throw up in the car? We pulled over to then get out and be sick and get back in the <laughs> car. Classy. That is class. <laughs> Damage your parents' car. Your own car or a friend's car because of your foolish teenage shenanigans? First time I took my car out, I um, drove into a bush. <laughs> <laughs> With my dad, he was like, you, you, you've had one lesson now, you're fine, let's go down the, you know, a little 20-minute drive. Let's go for a cruise. Let's go cruising. <laughs> <laughs> I hear. Yes. What were you obsessed with? So, uh, I was off awful footballer, abysmal footballer, and yeah. that was, like, the thing that you had to be good at. <laughs> so I did make up for it with an extraordinarily in-depth knowledge of the goings-on of the football world gleaned almost exclusively from playing championship manager. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> obsessively. Have yeah. you got, like, really obscure knowledge from, like, really... Yeah. Old year. Like, I will never stop knowing that the, like, backup, backup striker for Liverpool in the early 2000s was Neil Mellor. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one needs Nobody to can that. Neil Mellor has yeah. forgotten that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ian, what were you, what were you obsessed with? Um, uh, do you, are you familiar with Pokemon? Um, <laughs> I, I only became aware of Pokemon in the sense that I remember a few years ago a craze where people were wandering around trying to find, and I quote, Pokemons. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> they are small creatures. Right. That roam free yeah. in the world. Yeah. And you just try to collect all 150 or 151 if you include Mewtwo. Who is a Pokemon? And, and do you? <laughs> I don't personally. Right, okay. So the, the old There's people who think it's 150, there's people who think it's 150. <laughs> yeah, and they'll, they'll never see eye to eye. Yeah. <laughs> Let's test your obsession with you. We have some tense lighting. Oh. Let's just wait for it to get a bit tense. I actually am 
I do feel tense. You've got 151 to name. Right. And I will know if you get one wrong. Right, OK. <laughs> the time starts now! Uh, Bulbasaur, Venusaur, Blastoise, Squirtle, War Turtle, Charizard, <laughs> uh, Tame ah. Tameleon, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, um, Mr. Mind, Just Electro, about 140 to Electro go. Buzz, <laughs> As the uh, tension mounts. Mew, Mew two, uh, Be Ten seconds to go. Uh, uh, Eight seconds to go. You haven't done Pikachu, have you? Pikachu. Pikachu. Ooh, Pikachu. Even Pikachu. I knew that one. Uh, uh, Electro, five seconds Jew, to go. Um, uh, Paras. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as a fellow child of the 90s, that was fucking pathetic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, terrible. I named Paris. He's pretty bloody. Electro. I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs>